Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Rich Matic here, back with another Marvel Variants video. This will be number two. So thanks for sticking with me, but let's get right into it. The first comic I have is the uh, Amazing Spider-Man, and he's on in the pose of the lady on the Midnight Marauders Tribe Called Quest album. Very good album. But this was a really good pick just because no one else would ever pose like that woman's pose other than Spider-Man. But it's a good pick because when I think of like 90s hip hop, the perfect group I would pick would probably be uh, Tribe Called Quest. Just because they kind of, they're kind of in the middle. They're not too far left, but they're not too like far right, if you know what I'm saying. They're kind of not, they're not super conscious. Which, you know, they're definitely good. They have the 90s style. They're definitely super 90s. And when I think of, like, 90s comics, the first person I'm going to think of is Spider-Man. Because Spider-Man had the TV show. He had the comics. He had the video games. And, yeah, that, that's how I would get from it. And they're definitely both, like, the representatives of the 90s. So it's a, definitely a good pick. And the style fits perfectly. Now we have uh, X-23, or Wolverine, as uh, DMX in Blood of My Blood, Flesh of My Flesh. And I think this is a perfect pick for DMX. X-23 is a great representative, just because she can go into that uh, berserker mode. She's a super aggressive fighter, you know, slashing people up with the claws. For sure, that definitely relates to DMX, because DMX, man, he's a very... Super aggressive rapper. He's always barking and shit at everyone. But then at the same time, he's you know he's a vulnerable person. He cries at the end of like some of his concerts and skits, if I remember right. And then uh, X23, yo, she's also still you know a young member of the X Men. She's still learning. Still you know she's a teenage girl at heart. So you know she's gonna be emotional sometimes too. So you know that's definitely a good pick. You know, I couldn't think of anyone better to, other than Logan to play uh, DMX, but yeah, it's a good pick. The all-new X-Men in the style of Camp Lowe's Uptown Saturday Night, which is a very good album, listen to it. But I think this one relates the X-Men to Camp Lowe just because the X-Men were really unique, so was Camp Lowe. Like, the X-Men had super unique powers compared to like other superheroes at the time I think in the 90s but um when I think of Camp Low like just go just yo go and listen to one Camp Low song and you're gonna be like yo what the hell am I listening to like the beats are dope no one can say anything about their beats and their lyrics are dope too but it's gonna take you a while to decipher those lyrics because I didn't know what the hell they were talking about I mean, it sounded cool, but after I got used to their style and how they rap and their kind of black exploitation lingo, it, I don't know what you would call it, I don't know. But they definitely have their own unique style. X-Men have their own unique style, so I think that's kind of how they mesh. But yeah, this one's good. I like this one. Thor, or Lady Thor, or Jane Foster, whatever you want to call her, and she's posed as MF Doom on the mad villainy cd which is one of my favorite cds i love mf doom love mad lib definitely a big fan of both of those two so it's, i just had to get that one on the strength of that alone i don't know too much about jane foster as uh thor but i'll definitely have to read the comic to figure out you know what's going on in that universe i don't know what she's doing why she's thor i couldn't tell you but yeah, just on the strength of MF Doom alone, I had to get this one. So I definitely love this one. This is probably top five for me. So now we have a totally awesome Hulk in the style of Raekwon's Only Built for Cuban Links, a.k.a. the Purple Tape. And uh, I don't know much about this new Hulk dude. I always thought Bruce Banner was the Hulk, but apparently something happened to him. I don't know if he's dead now or something, but it looks like this kid's the new Hulk. Looks like some Asian kid. And I think they're both the same character just because they both got the same hairstyle. Duh, of course. Why not? But I like the artwork. Uh, you know, 
perfect representation other than Ghostface Killer is definitely our man. Get that right, Marvel. <laughs> Do that one time, please. Stop making everyone else Iron Man except for freaking Ghostface Killer. Like, it's messed up. You're doing a disservice. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe if you like what you see. Give me some likes, whatever. Dislike it if you hate it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace out.